This was one of the largest of 12 such rallies and it attracted national campaign groups as well as small community projects battling to remain open as their funding is slashed by up to 40%. I don't think they should cut, I don't think they should cut anyone's errors at all, and especially the centres, they shouldn't be cutting them as well. I think that's an important issue because tra trade unions, you know, traditionally have always campaigned for people who are vulnerable, you know, and that's what this is about, it's about the very, mo the most vulnerable people in society. These people are prisoners in their own homes, and as the cuts hit harder, um, they're going to be more so prisoners in their own homes. It's going to be very, very difficult um, to actually get out and about. And so that's why it's essential to try and show people that, that we're here not just for ourselves, but we're here for other people. The government says what it calls new personal independence payments will ensure people get the right levels of support. Activists say the facts already speak for themselves. It, all the cuts to the disability benefits, they don't just affect um, workers, they affect people that are not able to work. I, mean, I know they say 50% of disabled people of working age are in work as opposed to 80% of non-disabled. So yeah, we all need to support this and, and stop all of these cuts happening. The common goal is that we're all being cut and we're all being squeezed. And the bottom line is that disabled people are hardest hit, but the, but the truth of the matter is we're all facing um, the same issues. And so that's why we have to come together in times like this. And it's essential um, and crucial to have the support of the trade unions. Campaigners fear the austerity cuts will turn the clock back 40 years, so they hope that an alliance with the unions will help turn the tables on proposed financial cuts, which could spell a new era of disability discrimination if they're allowed to go ahead. Pete Murray, Union News in Edinburgh.